Let's look at another example of accumulation functions. Remember this is a formula. We want to find the accumulation function for y equals x over 2 starting at 0. So that means our function is going to be x over 2. Let's draw a picture. Here's our function. So if we go off a distance x, we go up a height x over 2. That's what y equals x over 2 is. So if we want to find the accumulation function as a function of x, that's going to be equal to the integral, since we're starting at 0, it's going to be the integral from 0 to x, and our function is going to be t over 2. So we replace that x over 2 with a t. t is the dummy variable we're going to integrate with respect to. x is being used for another purpose. x is the upper limit of integration. That's why we're using t, a different variable, as the dummy variable of integration. To compute this integral using the area interpretation, well, this integral is just the area of this triangle. So to compute this integral from 0 to x, we can just compute the area of this triangle. This triangle has a base of x, because we're going out to x, and it has a height of x over 2. We got the height by taking the x, substituting it in, x over 2 is y, so this is just y, it's x over 2. The area of a triangle is base times height over 2. So it's x times x over 2 divided by 2. And so the answer here is x times x over 2 divided by 2. It's the base times the height divided by 2. And that, of course, just simplifies to x squared over 4. So the accumulation function for this graph, y equals x over 2, is x squared over 4. And we can draw it like this. At any particular x value, the value of x squared over 4 tells us how much area has accumulated between 0 and x. That's the idea of an accumulation function.